A lot of action down here right now, guys. You can watch it on live timing as well. The number 18 of Kyle Kaiser, P2, when he brought the car into pit lane here right now, Kaiser putting on a fresh set of Cooper tires. So I expect it'll be a qualifying simulation run here right now for Kyle Kaiser. We know we're gonna see some race sims as well, but right now, so important for these drivers, qualifying could be the key to finishing the top five or finishing outside the top 10. Mark, Ed Jones just about gave me a heart attack here in the booth. <laughs> he had that car about as sideways. Thank God he was on some dirt recently. <laughs> I mean, it's just incredible. He stopped right, uh, right towards uh, turn number one. As you mentioned, he spent uh, a couple days or at least a day earlier this week in a non-wing sprint car, and he had that car absolutely sideways coming off of turn four. Uh, he fires that car back up and continues. But Jake Query, that, that was one of the biggest saves I think I've seen in a long time. And I'll tell you what, Nick, not only did it get you, it got whoever it is that decides whether or not the track goes yellow or not because they threw out that caution. He hugged it down towards the inside. I thought he was going to come to a stop near me. I'm down here towards the exit of pit road, which, of course, is kind of between uh, just at the outs, the exit of turn number one on the track. But he managed to keep it going. I've been watching as well this pit stall here of Felix Sorales. What a weekend, of course, for him in St. Petersburg, Florida, to start the Indy Lights season. He brings in that number four machine for Carlin Racing. What a fabulous opportunity for the young man from Puerto Rico. Keep in mind, before St. Petersburg, he had one win a year ago in his maiden voyage with Indy Lights, and that Nick came at Milwaukee, a, of course, short oval. So perhaps this track is to the liking for that young man in car number four, SS Tire and a good-looking blue machine for Carlin Racing. Felix Sorales, one of the guys that I realize, Nick, that it's early in the season, but certainly one of them we've got to keep our eye on as a real contender, one would think, for the points championship here, at least at the outset of this season, when you combine his experience, the fact that he's won on an oval and now a street course, and, of course, that team at Carlin Racing. Nick, you're not supposed to be able to read that right side pod when they're coming out of turn four. That's, that's not normally the preferred way of of making your way through that corner. Uh, Those Carlin cars look great. Jake's right. They, they look better when they're faced the right way. But uh, I'm telling you, Ed Jones could probably read. I don't know what sponsorships Mark are right there at uh, at pit entrance, but he could certainly read uh, those those sponsorships along the wall. I don't know if Cooper Tire makes a big right rear sprint car tire, but if they, they do, I think Ed Jones might want one because that was impressive. Yeah, Rob Howden, if you're looking to test the uh, the load that uh, that, that sidewall can bear of a Cooper Tire, I think Ed Jones just tested it and how. Yeah, I caught us off guard down here. I always saw was someone coming down the bottom of the racetrack into turn number one. Jake and I, of course, all the way down here at the far end of pit lane. I'm standing here right now with the number 18 of Kyle Kaiser. As we said, he went out on a qualifying simulation. He was able to go to P1 on the charts, but again, not able to get all the laps he wanted before that yellow came out. 